desperately want to be the world's best guitarist or you know the world's fastest solo player. Can you live from your music at this point in your career? Yeah. 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 And like just barely surviving or no, we do okay. I mean, you know, I think there's a lot of musicians who are always complaining about you know, people are stealing my music, or you know, whatever. It's like, you know, music. You make music because you love it, and you know, if you can make a living out of it, then great. Mm. When was the point that it started to become, yeah, sustainable for you? I guess when we got our record deal. Yeah, that was when we when we had a, started having a wage. When we, I mean, when we first started, you know, it's like fifty quid a gig, do two gigs a week if you're lucky. It's, it's hard to make a living doing that. Then um, when we got our deal, that was like three years ago. It's been that's all we've you know. How was your life like before you got a deal? Were you still doing daytime jobs or going to school, high school, or well, I was. was like, uh, Tom was studying, I was still, yeah. but I was um, I was living with my fr a friend of mine who's a musician in London. I was like living on the floor of their kitchen, basically, <laughs> like um, trying to you know trying to just make some enough money. They they let me pay a very reasonable rent, but okay. yeah. yeah. And was that st always in the back of your mind someday? I'm going to make my money with music or I think so I mean I was just enjoying the freedom of it as well you know the freedom of of being able to make music and not have to think about it you know um, but I always I've always you know for a long time I've wanted to do music yeah. mm. so can you remember when that, that feeling that you probably when I was about five or six yeah. <laughs> can, 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 can you have an explanation for that or what? well no I mean it's always resonated with me you know music I've always loved it you know it's always I've always uh, and then I think I think I stopped, stopped, as soon as I started learning to play guitar at like eleven, I just felt like a really natural thing to want to write songs. You know, I didn't I didn't ever desperately want to be the world's best guitarist or you know the world's fastest solo player. I just wanted to write songs, really. You know. And Tom, for you? Um, I don't know. Well, I've been playing violin for eighteen years. Yeah. <laughs> so I was always very keen. My mum was a singer as well, so very musical background. Can you remember why you started playing violin? Was it why? Yeah, you know, why? Because I didn't. Well, you know, you know, at school you have these like expos where they get um, all these like different instruments, like your orchestral family or whatever, and uh, all the kids can like try them out in their music lessons. So I just remember like playing like clarinet and all that stuff and, and hated that. Hated anything I had to blow. <laughs> and I didn't want to hit stuff either. Cause my mum would let me. So I, I I tried violin. Yeah. That was actually how I started. Yeah. Never looked back. Yeah, in, in, in what kind of genre did you start? Was it more the classical? Oh, yeah, or? classical, yeah. Does that classical uh, stuff yeah, oh, still, still find yeah. its way into um, uh, Noah and the Will? I, yeah, I think know, I guess, like, first days of spring had yeah, some Yeah, definitely. Like, there are influences and stuff. Yeah. And I just, in, for, my, for my own pleasure, I still play a lot, a lot of that stuff. Hmm. Yeah. Are, what what are the, do you think are the the, the, the the secrets about classical music? What what the secrets? Yeah, well, not not necessarily the secrets, but the mm. the, the, the things that make well, classical I mean, music so special. I mean, you, all you have to do is listen to like I don't know Beethoven piece or Mozart, and it's that's raw emotion. Mm. <laughs> it's tangible, and um, powerful stuff. You know, those works. It's just so impressive. I mean, you've got big like symphonies, big operas. Is it, is it possible to catch that emotion into a pop song, do you think? Yeah, I mean, you know, I think string instruments have a, a natural kind of leaning towards being able to pull people's heartstrings and make them feel things mm. that other, other instruments can't. Mm. But I'd be biased because I'm a violinist. <laughs> mm. <laughs> um, yeah, we were talking about uh, the, the, the synagogue and uh, the other places you recorded, but uh, mm -hmm. how much influence does the outside world has on the music that you write at that moment? Is that influence big or is it just shelter from you know, your No, no, I mean, it's your, I think you are always influenced in some way by your surroundings. Um, and I mean, it's funny because uh, well, that album was recorded in LA and, and you know, if, if we, didn't, we didn't really think much about the decision to go and record in LA, it was just the guy we wanted to work with worked out there. Um, and now having heard it, it's like, makes perfect sense that it was recorded in LA. It's like obviously it had to be recorded yeah. there, you know what I mean? Why? I don't know, just the sound of it and you know the way the way we did it, it just feels like that was the right decision, you know. Um, but I think this this album is the first time we've uh, experimented with third person narratives in the songwriting. And there's more sort of uh, I guess it's uh, I'm, I'm hesitant to say sort of fiction because it's not necessarily fiction, but it's more, you know, some of the stories are are more kind of creative and imagined than than, than the other ones, you know. For this, like I said, for 
Uh, usually it's written from my perspective and kind of trying to look through different people's eyes on this album, you know. Was it difficult for you to... Live? Yeah, it was a challenge, but I like, I like a challenge, you know. It was, um, I think on this album we wanted to test ourselves. I wanted to take myself out of what was comfortable. You know, I didn't want to like rely on chord patterns I'd used before or old lyrical twists I'd had before. I wanted it, it to be like a new thing for us, a new, you know, a new, a new mood.